here's one for the poppets. Jen Gambatiz is here to talk about Mrs. Doubtfire and her longtime Broadway career. Let's send it out to Paul Wontorek. Jen Gambatiz has starred in some of my favorite Broadway shows. Today I'm going to tell you about all of them with Jen Gambatiz. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. It's so good to see you. It's so good to be seen and to see you. You look fabulous. Are we, we're going to go for a little walk. Yes. We're going to talk. We're going to walk and talk. We're going to walk and talk. Right, right I, actors resume. can do that. Broadway actors can walk and talk <laughs> at the same time. So here we are. This is actually a really important theater in your history, the yes. Neil Simon Theater. Yes. What happened at this theater? Oh, just a little joyride called Hairspray. Hairspray. Yeah. You, now, wait a minute. Hairspray, that was a big hit. It was a big fat hit, big as they called fat, it. Big fat <laughs> hit. You were Brenda? That's right. Originally, I did I get the, that right? One I of the nicest kids in town. OG nine months. That but was me. You also had a fantastic run here as Penny Pingleton. I did, yeah. I got to kind of come in and out a couple times as Penny, which was a great gift. Right. Um, and I was mentioning to you, the first Broadway show I ever saw was Across the Street. So right. It was very... Yeah. You saw oh, City of Angels across City the street. City of Angels. And then and you got then to... I got to be here. And it was huge. It was one of those sort of like cultural moments. And then I remember when we were doing the Out of Town in Seattle and Jack O'Brien saying to us after the first preview, like, it's not always like this. Because there were so many younger actors and he just didn't want us to think like, oh, well, this is what a Broadway out of town tryout is because yeah. it's not always that. And that cast, that cast is amazing. I know you guys are all close and it's just- We're family. Yeah. I mean, that's family. But we, I would always say, even at the time, like the bench was so deep. You know, you had the stars who were stars. Yeah. And then in the ensemble, you had all of these like future stars. Yeah. Um, and it was really cool. So here we are at here the are. Winter Garden at the Theater. Winter Garden. This is a really nice, fancy theater. I love playing this house. It is kind of wide. Yeah, it's like kind of, it's like. It seats a lot of people, but somehow it still feels yes. intimate. And then like the history of this theater, I'm such like a history nerd. So you know, right? This used to be like a stable. Right, that's that right. The horses yes, and a horse stuff. Table, yes. So then when they like sometimes they'll still find like straw. Like I don't believe <laughs> that. For that, real? Yeah, well I don't know if now, but back in the day, that maybe when like Angela Lansbury was here. <laughs> but that's it too, right? You had, you know, Barbara Streisand and Funny Girl, yes. Angela Lansbury and Mame. So you just you walk in this theater and you it's like goosebumps. This is also where I had cats crawl on me as a kid as because a kid, cats played yes. here. And you got to work with Andrew Lloyd Webber in School of Rock. Yes, I mean I was a replacement so I didn't get a lot of time right. with Sir Andrew, right. but I I did get to do School of Rock here. That's where I did. did. And you were fantastic at it. So this pile of scaffolding. Indeed. Behind all of that is the Palace Theater. Something, as in Judy plays the palace. Something Judy, legendary. Judy played the palace and so did Jen. Yes. Jen played the palace. <laughs> I did. In All Shook Up. In All Shook Up. Which is a show that I have a lot of affection for. Oh, so many people it was, do. It was such a sweet show. Such a sweet show. The timing was a little tricky. Good Vibrations had opened before us. Right. Which was a, a, a less effective jukebox musical, yeah. and I think critics kind of wanted also, to... Also, people weren't really, it was based on the songs of Elvis. Yes. Um, people became more accepting of jukebox musicals since then. Yes, definitely. Right? And it was, you know, the memo didn't quite make it out enough that it was the songs of Elvis, but Instead it wasn't of the about story Elvis. Of Elvis right. And Cheyenne looked a lot like Elvis, minus when they tried to make him blonde at the Macy's Parade. Oh, wow. And then quickly put the kibosh on that. <laughs> so it didn't really run. That's what we're trying to get that's to. That's right, that's right. But, but the people who saw it loved it. People who saw it loved it. And I always say with that show, the proof is in the pudding because it is done everywhere. You know, yes. colleges, yeah. community theaters. Um, it will play Broadway again, I think, and it will get its due. Jen. Yes. More scaffolding. More scaffolding. We think it might be a metaphor for like <laughs> building Broadway back. Sure. Or, Restructuring my career. I don't know. <laughs> this is a court theater. You were in a show here. I saw it. A year with Frog and Toad. That's right. You played a bunch of animals. I played. Uh, I think we're allowed to say it on air. Bitchy bird, and um, and and a very sweet mouse, and a, a squirrely squirrel, and um, young frog, and flashback, and uh, a mole. And I think all the kind. mouse might have been the one that you were really. The really, mouse was really my main. Yeah. Equipped for it though too. Oh, a sweet mouse. Yes, a sweet mouse. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, are you calling me short? What are you? Calling? <laughs> this is where it all started. Broadway debut. Everybody cut, everybody cut. But this, <laughs> that was like a, a young cast. Like yeah. that was like a bunch of kids your age. Everybody kind of like a, just a, a whole posse of 20 somethings playing high schoolers and 
living their best Broadway lives. You also did something else very epic in this theater. Yes, I did. Like, epic. You were in Tarzan. You were yeah, Jane. I was Jane. You flew. I flew. That, that, that was a crazy production. It was, it, I always joke, you know, I had never gone to an audition where I needed to put on a crash helmet before. <laughs> and, you know, the structure was surrounded by, um, like, the, this, these inflatable walls. Yes. So it was, it was very a, safe. It was one and, of those, like, yeah, gyms it, that you take your kids to. Yeah. You know, not a lot of people can say they've flown over the audience in this theater, but you did. You, I did, but not that often. Uh, we that, that only lasted, like, a few previews. Oh, really? Where we I got lucky run. to see that? Yeah. That was terrifying. It was terrifying for me. I don't know. Yeah, you. well, we were like hightailing it from backstage to the back of the theater and then flew over. No, I loved the flying. I wish we had done more of it, actually. Jen, it's the Lyceum Theater. You were in a really funny comedy called Is He Dead? Is He Dead? Question, Question mark. mark. With Norbert Leo Butts yes. in drag. It was written by Mark Twain and then adapted yes. by David it, Ives. Yes, yeah. all of that. He kind of helped Mark Twain whittle it down. I think there were nine of us. It was hilarious. Uh, it was so funny. Broad farce. Broad farce. It was It was one of those plays that was like just a step below a musical in terms of heightened yes. reality. And in fact, in the curtain call, we danced a little bit. Yeah. I mean, just amazing yeah. people. Hello. Yes. Hello. I can't do the voice. But <laughs> here we are. We're here. Steven Sondheim Theater, formerly the Henry Miller's Theater. Yes. This is your current home, yeah. Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes. This show is so joyful and beautiful and fun and what the world needs right I now, think right? So. I mean, this is what we're giving audiences sort of yeah. like just a big. It's just like a balm for the heart. It's a balm for the yeah. heart. Yeah. I love how the character has really sort of grown for the musical version. Well, I think that's possible. That's what's possible in musicals. You know, yeah. you take like a, a comedic movie, and you can sort of only do so much. You s let the characters start to sing, and then you peel back the layers of the onion a bit. You get to know them a little bit more because you hope you do if they're singing about it. <laughs> What is it like taking this tour around the theater district? I mean, like, you've sort of, you, you even said to me, like, you have different memories at different corners. Yeah. What's it like doing this? It's, it's like, it's the best feeling of, like, look, I made a hat a little bit. <laughs> also, you know, the memories of the people. I think you go to the buildings and it's the people. I don't know, it just feels real good.